I'm just reading a couple things uh, about you online uh, and something that ties into something we're doing down here this weekend. A couple of your fellow Philadelphia basketball coaches uh, are going to be down here for the 76ers Beach Bash. Jay Wright from Villanova will be down here uh, as as one of the guys. And some of the proceeds going to that is uh, coaches versus cancer. And I know that uh, from reading some stuff on, on St. Joe's, uh, your bio, uh, you mentioned that you are, you're you pretty involved with that. And it's obviously a great organization. Uh, talk a little bit about your involvement in that. And, and why that is so important because I know so many coaches in, in the college ranks and in other places as well, but really in college, they've really embraced this. It's a unique opportunity to coach college basketball and to have one of the 300 jobs that we have, it's also imperative that we give back. People are willing to listen. People are willing to help us and support us. And the Coaches versus Cancer is the national charity of choice for our association. In Philadelphia, we have the best of college basketball. We have six Division I schools in a 20-mile radius. We have the Palestra. We have leagues represented like the Atlantic 10 and the Big East and the Colonial and the Ivy. So it's really important that we give back as college basketball coaches. And I, I just felt strongly that everybody out there has been affected by this dreadful disease of, of uh, cancer. And I wanted people to know that we are going to find a cure. We're going to keep pushing till we find a cure. We're going to be on those doctors. We want to coach the doctors uh, to, to, to make people's quality of life better, not just the victim, but also the families. So in Philadelphia, we took it upon ourselves to become the number one fundraisers throughout the whole country. We've been able to do that for the last five years. And we will continue to do that until one day we can pick up our newspapers and you can announce on your radio show that we are cancer free. Coast Morning Show, Dennis Brown talking to the head coach of St. Joe's Basketball, Phil Martelli. Uh, Phil, a couple questions about the team for this upcoming year. You have a very unique opportunity. You get a chance to play over in the Maui Invitational, one of the most illustrious uh, preseason or pre-conference basketball tournaments, and it's very exciting. A lot of great teams are going to be there. I know uh, North Carolina, Notre Dame, Oregon, uh, Indiana, among others. Uh, that's got to be a great experience for your team, a, a to take them out there, and B, to to match yourself up against some of the best teams in the nation? Well, I think it's a unique opportunity for our program. There are not many schools like us that get an invitation as prestigious as the Maui Invitational. Mention the teams that are in there. They're extraordinary. They're going to be difficult to, to, to compete against, but we're going there for the intent of winning games, not just to sightsee or put our chest out and say this was a wonderful trip. We're going there with the intent of winning games, and competing against the highest level. When these young guys get a scholarship, that's what they ask for. And to be able to give them this special chance, I feel really good about our program and about this particular team. Now, one of the things, uh, looking on the website, uh, you guys are getting some renovations done to the uh, Alumni Memorial Fieldhouse, so a lot of your home games are going to be played at the Palestra. Why don't you talk a little bit about what's going on with St. Joe's basketball, a little bit of development there for, the, uh, for, for your facilities? games will be played at the Plester this year. Uh, we have three a three-pronged attack going on. We are building a practice facility. That should be done September 1st. We are building an office complex next to the existing field house. That will be done sometime in March. And then our field house will go under renovations. That will not open until September of 09. We're going to add about a thousand seats. We're going to build a concourse raise the ends. We're going to allow more people to see St. Joe basketball because over this last seven, eight, ten years, there's been a real clamor to see this team and this program play. And most especially for our students, they're going to be able to see more of the games. More of them are going to be able to see more games. And I'm excited about all that's going on. Obviously, you talked about some of the great teams that are in Philadelphia. You obviously get the chance to play them in the Palestra. Uh, it's got to be a unique opportunity and one that I would think that you got to relish. Uh, obviously, you've been with St. Joe's now for a while. It, it, it's got to be great to have that kind of you know rivalry because you know college football. That's what makes that so great is the rivalries. College basketball. Some schools have it, but you really do have that because you have so many teams within such a small radius uh, of twenty miles. You mentioned uh, that's got to be such a unique opportunity and it really has to bring out the best uh, not just in the, in the schools but it's something that the city can really get involved with well certainly i think we have the best basket college basketball town or city in america uh, 
We have great people coaching these teams, very, very passionate about their programs. But what it does is every day you better be extraordinary. You better be extraordinary in the way you deal with the media. You better be extraordinary in the way that you recruit. You better be extraordinary in the way you promote your program. So it demands excellence above and beyond the leagues that we're in, which is really our vehicle to the NCAA tournament, which all teams strive to get to. But certainly in Philadelphia, we're challenged to be unique, to be special. And to, for a lifelong Philadelphian, get the opportunity to coach one of these teams, as I have and Fran Dunphy has and Jay Wright, Bruiser Flint, it just is uh, – it does – it gives me chills. Every chance I get to walk on the floor at the Plester, I think I'm having a chance to coach one of these teams. And maybe somewhere in those stands there's a young kid who had the same dream that I did when I was young, that I would be the coach at St. Joe's. It's just uh, – it's priceless, really. I mean, to take from that ad that's on TV, it is a priceless experience that I am a part of. Last question for uh, St. Joseph's head coach. Uh, Phil Martelli, can I get a prediction from you on the season? Well, we're going to start practice on October the 18th. We're going to play November the 14th, and my goal will be the same. We must get better every day. If we get better every day, we'll be playing our best basketball in March, and we'll let the chips fall where they may then. Uh, as far as how many wins or, or what the results could be, I don't have any idea. And if I, if I did have an idea on that and I was right, I'm probably wasting my time coaching basketball. I should probably be making a lot of money doing something else. Well, we thank you a lot for uh, giving us a couple minutes, and uh, good luck with everything going on this season. And uh, thanks for giving us a couple of these books to give away. I, I appreciate your time. If there's ever anything I can do for you, please let me know.